All right, guys, so yet again, it is another Wish Wednesday. If you watched one of my previous Wish Wednesdays, I did a review about this survival cane. So today, we have something that's kind of along the same lines as that. We have this, which I'm sure you know, you can't tell what, what it is from this angle, but this is a spear fishing slingshot. We're just gonna see what all we got. We got a tube. We got the spear tips. Those will come in handy, obviously. We got, okay. We have what looks like some surgical tubing. One is green and one is red. Two more spears. We got like a scope mount, a slingshot body, I guess. And we have a fishing reel. All right, now how's this thing go together? Obviously they're it's a wish, so there was no instructions to be found, so you're just kind of on your own, I guess. So I'm not a genius, but I'm going to say that the slingshot goes this way. This mounts here, so this is going to mount onto this tube. And where does this go? That, uh, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Oh, this kind of looks like it mounts to this. This, does it go here? Okay, so that drops over there on this end. <laughs> it doesn't, so it's going to hit that. Unless this is supposed to go down, I don't know, it's wish, so maybe, maybe that's how it's supposed to work. That's not even like really held in there that good. Maybe this is supposed to go this way, it goes like that. Now that makes more sense, because you can hold it, you can shoot it, and then you can, then you can reel it in. Two of these, and then each one of these spears has these little like, I don't know what these things are, just like two little pieces sticking off to the side. And I bet you're supposed to catch them here and here, and then that's what you're gonna use to pull it back and shoot it. And then obviously that would make sense because there's two spots for two bands. But there's just like a little slot here, so am I just supposed to squeeze this in there, I guess? Doesn't seem, whatever. Yeah, that, that's one. Seems like that worked to me. So now, so I guess you just have one tip that you use all the time, and then um, these are just like extras, because you can only attach one to the fishing line at a time. Seems to me like, like we're in pretty good shape. So what I'm assuming, so you'd have this, and then you could really. <sighs> now I guess we need something to, test fire this thing on. All right, there we go. That doesn't seem very dangerous at all, having a point that could stab into your hand. Now let's get like a, like a bottle or something and then we can do like a test shot. All right, time for a test shot. So I have just an empty plastic bottle here and I just want to shoot this, make sure it pierces it, make sure everything functions and just, you know, make sure everything works. This is gonna be from point blank I guess that worked. It didn't pierce the bottle. I might not have had the uh, the string ran the right way. And I didn't pull back that hard because I was honestly kind of nervous that it was gonna stab me in the hand. Let's pull back a little harder. See what we can do. Okay, we hit it. Oh, it's a fighter! Oh, it's a fighter! Oh, whoo! It's a wild one. We got it! That actually... Worked really good. Pierced the bottle, the barb on the hook, hooked it in. Obviously, this would not be for catch and release. If you're gonna shoot a fish with something like this, it's a fish that you're gonna kill and eat. Let's go outside and test this on some fish. There's a big fish right there, but I gotta whisper because I don't wanna scare it off. So I'm gonna sneak around that tree and see if I can put it down. I got him. As you can see, went right through our fish. We got everything, we reeled them in, everything's good. All right, so I'm all loaded up again, ready to go. So obviously the last time I was able to sneak up really close on that fish. So now I'm gonna try to stay farther away and see just how accurate this thing is. 
not really how accurate this thing is because it's only going to be as accurate as I am, but I want to see if it can still penetrate through the bottle from a distance. Now I'm all wrapped up in the tripod and it's all over here. Obviously, I'm not very good with the slingshot. Let's try one more time, see if we can get it. Oh, great, now we're getting all tangled up. All right, so I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change the position that I'm shooting from because if you look here, you can see I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there that it cracked the siding where it bounced off the table. It cracked the siding on the house. So that's no good. So I'm going to change positions and try again. All right, so <laughs> obviously the operator is not very accurate. So let's move on to some other tests. All right, so. Obviously, I'm not that good with the slingshot, <laughs> so that doesn't really speak for this. Everything, everything about this seems to work good. It seems to have good power. It seems to, it's, it's gonna be just as accurate as you are. All the mechanisms seem to work. The reel works. Everything seems to work. Let's, I was thinking, let's think outside of the realm of spearfishing, home defense. <laughs> if, if you are gonna use this for home defense, it's gonna, you're, anybody that's gonna break into your house, they should at least give you at least a 10 minute notice so that you can get this thing all set up and ready. Because, I mean, let's be honest, if they're gonna break into your house, the least they can do is give you a 10 minute notice. You know, how, how deep would it penetrate? Let's shoot some ballistics gel. All right, so I have everything set up. Our attacker or our home invader that graciously gave us a 10 minute warning is gonna be, I'm probably gonna stand somewhere around like here. So he's gonna be just like an arm and a half length away, pull back as far as I can without breaking anything. Three, two, one. That did not go as deep as I thought it would. And the barbs cut my thumb when I let them go. That was just in there up to, I mean, it was in there up to there. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna put on a glove so that way I can not have my thumb get sliced open. All right, so for this go around, I'm just gonna put on a welding glove. So freeze right there, Mr. Attacker. Hold on just a minute. Now that was much better. That was much, much better. So obviously, if somebody was breaking into your house and they, see how deep that went in there. Oh, that's gonna be hard to get out too because of those barbs. Oh, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty deep. That's like, probably two inches at least. And then with the barbs on top of that, oh, that would be, That'd be very, very nasty. So that would be, that would really suck for anybody that broke in. So the spear fishing slingshot kit from Wish, it's good. Everything works, everything functions. It's, it's very solid. This thing has good weight to it. It's sharp. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm not that good with it, which doesn't say anything about the product itself, but the product itself is good. I was, I was very surprised that these elastic bands were the quality that they are, I figured that they would, you know, snap pretty easy. And especially on that last one, when I pulled it back, you know, pretty much as far as I could get it, I'm surprised they didn't break. The point, you know, it hit the house several times, went into the dirt a bunch. Everything here is good. It's solid. I have, I have no complaints about the product itself. I, I am, I myself am just not very good at using this. I'm sure if you were like an experienced bow fisher and you, you know, went bow fishing all the time and you were really good with that sort of thing. I'm sure you could probably do great with this thing. So overall, this thing is good. The price on this thing, I want to say 30 ish dollars, somewhere in there for that price. It's good, especially if you're into bow fishing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.